my name is Felicia. I'm 41. <laughs> <laughs> I've been incarcerated for 22 years and I'm housed on 93C, Taconic Correction Facility. And you were how old when you came in? I was 18. 18, oh my gosh, so you grew up in here. Yes, I did. Yeah. If you could go back in your life and change something about yourself, what would it be? Come to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something in your personality? Did you change at that point? Um, yeah, I've changed a lot. I've changed a lot. I value a lot of stuff. I see life different now. I guess it comes with age. I, yeah, like it comes with age. What is the hardest part about being incarcerated? Um, not seeing my family. Yeah. And tell me about your family. Who is that? Um, well, my father's very supportive in my life. My dad. Um, I have siblings. My brother, he's very supportive. My sister, she's very supportive. Um, my other sister, she's very supportive. So I have like, you know, I have a little bit of support in my life. Is there one particular kind of food that you miss the most? Chinese food. <laughs> I love Chinese food. <laughs> and, you, and you haven't had it in 22 years? 22, well, no, well actually, over there in Bedford, when you, um, when you, um, they do like the clean this unit contest or like they do like little things like that and if you win you get Chinese food or you get McDonald's or you get like but this was like back in the days I don't think they, they do, do it anymore. anymore. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any fears about your family or your loved ones? Yeah my dad he's old so my fear is that he's gonna leave me while I'm incarcerated. Yeah but he's, he's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. I want to say he's doing pretty damn good mm -hmm. for 82. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, can he come visit? Yeah. My father, my father is mobile. Like, he drives. He works. What have you learned about yourself that has surprised you? Hmm. That I'm starting to like school. I'm starting to like it. At first it was like, yeah. Because, you know, school's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's really not, but like I, I like school now. I like school. What are you studying? I'm studying. Well, actually, I just started. I'm in um, math, math 109. Is it math 109? Math, math, 109 and writing 101. Math, yeah. That's me. That's me. Yep. And you like both math and writing? Well, I don't really like the math. I never really did like math. <laughs> math, I got a low grade on math. But writing is, it's all right. So tell me about your typical day in here. Well, I get up. I um, start my day with, I'll go take a shower. I'll get out. I turn my music on. I um, fill my hot pot up. So that's how I start my morning, and then I have a program that I go to every morning, and well, my program is in the morning and at night. So I start my morning program in the morning, which is the yard. So I go out there and I kind of like pick up like trash and like garbage that's on the floor. And then I leave, and I go back, I lock in for the count, I come out, I use the phone, I mean, everyday normal stuff. Is there anything in particular you do before you go to bed? Do you have any kind of routine? Um, I might read or I'll pray. Um, do you have anybody else that shares your cell with you? No. What's your cell like? It's like my peace, peace of mind. Well, I get a peace of mind. Now. I could go, I could tell the officer to lock me in. They lock me in. And I'll just be in there doing me. Whatever it is I'm doing, like homework or listening to the radio, crying, whatever I want to do. 
put my curtain up and I do whatever I want to do. Right. So you got <laughs> some privacy. Right. Yeah, that's rare in prison. Right. It's the, and you can close the curtain to the window so or so no one can see in? Yes, it's like oh. <clears throat> it's like a little square window and then you put like this little square um, curtain up but with, with Velcro or whatever. And what's your favorite pastime? Maybe at night when I come back from um, meds, I get in the shower, kind of like wind down, Ooh. get ready for bed. Is there something you want to do when you're released? Well, I would like to get into like doing hair and stuff because I, I like to do hair. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any kind of classes like that in here? Yes, actually they did have like Cosmo. They had cosmetology here, but the lady, she, I don't know, something happened to her, so she just stopped coming, so they stopped giving us the program. Oh, bummer. Yeah. So. Are you guys allowed to have any kind of products? I assume you can't have any kind of blow dryer, or that type of thing? No, we can have blow dryers. Oh, really? Yeah, we can have blow dryers, iron? flat irons. Really? Yep. It's amazing. Um, I assume you didn't have that kind of stuff. No, we do. You can order it. What kind of music do you like? Mmm. <laughs> I like R&B, mm -hmm. I like rap, mm -hmm. I like um, I like some country music, you know. So what do you like to cook in here? Um, my favorite is fried chicken with tuna salad. Oh. Do you actually get it on the bone? Yeah. Really? But it's, it's not that good. No. <laughs> it's not like a real chicken. It's processed. You guys have, do you have a gym? Yes. We have a gym. Do you work out at all? No, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. No, you gotta do it. Yeah, I was just telling myself that today too. Yeah. Cause I'm getting older. Yeah. You gotta stay fit with the young that's, kids. Exactly. <laughs> uh, has being incarcerated made you value something more deeply? Yes, my freedom. 